Okay, so when we divide, okay, we can use the bus stop method. The number we're dividing by should go on the outside. So we write three there. And then 183 goes on the inside. And it's often useful because we can refer to the three times table here. It's often useful to write that down. Okay, so one times three, two times three, three times three, four times three, and so on, right? We just have to go down to, actually, we only need to go down to nine times three. That will be enough. Okay, or you just use it from memory. Um, so when we break this up then, okay, to divide, okay, we start off by um, looking at how many threes go into one, okay? Of course, three won't fit into one, so we're gonna carry it, and we put it next to the eight. So now, because we carry that one, we've now got 18, okay, here. And then we'll ask how many threes go into 18. So if you know your tables, you'll know it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it goes into it six times perfectly with no remainder. And then we're left with three. Well, three goes into three once. So we've got our answer there, 61. Okay, let's look at a second um, example. So 224 divided by seven. So two, two, four on the inside. And we're dividing then by seven here. So again, it might be useful to write your seven times table. Okay. all the way down to nine times seven. Um, seven then, we're gonna break this up. Seven, does it go into two? Well, it doesn't, so we're gonna carry that two. And then that creates the number 22. Two and two, 22. Seven then, does it go into 22? Well, let's see, one, two, three times, yeah? Not perfectly, but it goes into it three times, which gives us 21, and from 22, there's a remainder then of one, yeah? Because tw 21 from 22 leaves one left over. So I write that one there, and then I've got the number 14. And seven into 14 goes once, twice. So the answer for this will be 32.